Rightio guys, welcome back to another main video. We haven't done a main video in quite a while. Today we'll be reviewing the JBL Extreme. Yes, this is a really, really big speaker. It's bigger than what you would think. Like you look at that and you think, yeah, it's a big speaker. But when you actually hold the damn thing, you're like, wow, that's huge. <laughs> that's what she said. First we'll start off with what's in the box. You open up the box and it's like a party. There's a picture of people at like a rave party sort of thing. You get the imitation that the speaker's gonna be a bit of a beast. But you open up the box and what you get, you get the speaker, you get the charger. We'll talk about that charger in a minute. It's a bit different to normal. And you get a strap that you can hook onto the speaker and goes around your shoulder so you can use it just around the streets. You can wear it sort of thing. It's a bit easier to carry because it is a big speaker. It's hard to carry. Yeah. Right, let's talk a bit about the design and how this thing is made. You're probably thinking that sort of looks like the material of the UE Boom, Mega Boom, all that sort of thing. Well, it pretty much is. And the reason for that is the speaker is water resistant. Not waterproof, it cannot be submerged underwater, but it can be poured on with a bit of water like it doesn't matter if it gets splashed or drinks get spilt on it if it's at a bar that kind of thing you can take this anywhere pretty much it like all the radiators on the side are all sealed so everything's sealed for water resistance yeah but that's the water resistance um the design the build it is super strong you can knock someone out with this thing it's quite heavy i think it weighs in at about two kilos it is a heavy speaker it's Oh, just it's just massive honestly it is such a big speaker but it's not for the people that would want a speaker that's extremely portable because this isn't the most portable speaker out there I'll tell you that yeah but guys I'll tell you what I like I love this big JBL sign here it really shows off that it's a JBL speaker I, I, it's just much better from their past generations where it was just a white JBL I'm pretty sure or it was steel I think but this is bright red it looks really good I'll tell you that it's got feet on the bottom, so I think that's actually to show you that it's meant to be sitting like this. Not as much like that as their other speakers, but like that. And it, they're, good, they're good feet, so I don't want to rattle off a table or that kind of thing, especially with the heavy base that this, tail, that this has. We'll talk about that in a minute. We'll head over to the bottom of the speaker. We've got this zipper, as I said, for the water resistance. We've got our power port here, which is like a full big laptop charger. Let me tell you that. It's not a normal USB like the UE has, or just even the other JBLs. They're not a, it's not a USB cable, it's a big laptop charger. Next to that, we've got two, not just one, but two USB charge points. So you can plug your phone and your mate's phone, and these can both get full charge while you're listening to some heavy beats, eh? Next to that, we've got your aux in port. So if your device doesn't support Bluetooth, you've got your all sorted there with your aux in port. Next to that, a lot of people would get confused with this. It is a micro USB port. So no, that is not for charging. It is a service port. So if you wanna update this with the software on your computer, that's why it is called service. It's not used for charging or anything like that. I've never tried it actually. It could actually still charge it. I don't know, hidden fact. The buttons on top, we've got some really, really tactile buttons. We've got the this button here, I'll talk about that in a minute, it's called the JBL Connect. We've got the volume up, volume down, Bluetooth, play and pause, and double tap, and it changes the song. This is packing a 10,000 milliamp battery. 10,000 milliamps for a speaker, that is impressive. So that's why you've got your two USB ports to charge your devices. In my testings, I've got about 13 and a half hours battery life at about 60% volume. Not full, not half, I think it was just, it could have been 70, I'm not too sure, but it was just a bit above half. Because I just wanted to get a little bit different results to what everyone else got, you know, because you're not always gonna have it at half, or you're not always gonna have it at full, you wanna you have it in that range, if you get what I mean. 
if that makes sense. I mentioned this thing is water resistant. Um, that is a really good feature. It's a good selling point. Um, let's get to the JBL Connect feature, I think. What this is, for you guys that don't know, the JBL Connect, if you push that button and you've got two of these or this and maybe a JBL Pulse or something like that, something else that has JBL Connect, you can set up two speakers. So I can have one here and another one here and they'll be both playing the same music. So that's a really, really good feature if you've got two of them or something like that because it can create a real good surround sound. Like if you're connecting it, watching a movie, you can have one here, one here. It's pretty cool, I think. It's a really good feature. You're probably thinking, what are these little clips here? Well, they are the clips that the strap I was talking about before, they connect onto there, the little clips, and it allows you to just put it like, put it on your waist sort of thing, behind your back, and you can just sit it there and play your music like you don't have to hold it, because it is two kilos. It's quite a heavy speaker. It's a bit of a beast, I'll tell you. Right, last but not least, how does this speaker sound? Well, let me tell you. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. The two big, massive, passive radiators on the side give off a lot of bass. I'll tell you that now. At about 60 to 80% volume, these passive radiators give a solid bass to any genre of music. They sound really good. The two front speakers, I'll tell you, they're very good. They push a little bit too high in the highs. They, especially at high volumes, like if you're at 100% volume, the highs that this speaker produces are just, they just hurt your ears, let me tell you that. It's not a nice feeling actually, especially if you're indoors. If you're outdoors, it's not as bad. It actually makes it sound really, really loud. But indoors, it just hurts your ears, let me tell you that. But other than that, at around 60% volume, it, it's, it's still really loud, I'll tell you that. It's such a nice sound. The mids are there, the highs are there, the bass are there from these radiators. The back isn't a speaker, that's just all battery. So it's only just the front, but yeah, it's, it's a good sound. But yeah, guys, yeah, I've just seen my background change. It's just my screensaver. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this main video. We haven't done one in a while. I need to keep them up. I want to keep this channel going, so I've got to keep uploading these main videos. But yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Comment for any future videos. Like if you liked it. Dislike if you didn't. You know what to do. But yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. Later, guys.